Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a high school for your game. Okay, so this tutorial was requested by someone. So if you have a tutorial request, you can let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so before we begin, let's take a look at what this would look like once we're done. So let's um, preview this. So in our scene right now, we have this um, one, two, three, four, and five. This would serve as coins. So once our player is in collision with the first one, we have a score of one. And once he's in collision with this door, it displays his current high score as one. Now let's um, close this and preview it again. So here, let's try to get um, all five of them. So we have 5 now, and if we're in collision with the door, it displays its new high score as 5. Okay, so that's what we'd be doing. Okay, so before we begin, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss future uploads. Now the project we'll be using for this game, um, I'll go into my projects manager, we have two scenes in it. We have the first scene which is where you play game um, and the high school scene is the scene which would display the high school. So in our new scene we have this, let's start from the top, we have the text score object. This would display the score of the player and this score is generated once the player is in collision with this which serve as the coins and this is our player. Our player uses the platformer character behavior which is this platform object behavior apply and we have this tiles which is the platform so it's a mini platformer game okay let's not forget the exit this is the door which kind of takes you to the high school scene and displays your high school now in our um, high school scene we have a text object high school text this is the text which would display the score of the player Okay, so that's the breakdown of our project. Now let's go into our events and start filling out some events. So the first thing you do is head back into your new scene where you have your game and you'd fill in this um, event in your game. So let's go into our new scene events. The first thing we need to do is create a working score system where once our player is in collision with this coin right here, once he's in collision with it, we need to create a scene variable. Now this scene variable would store the score of the player and then another action which would delete the coin. So to do that, add a new event, um, add a condition. So collision, let's select player. Once the player is in collision with the, sorry, with the object, which is the coin object, there we go. So once it's in collision, now you need to add a trigger once. You don't want this occurring more than once. So add a condition, trigger once. And trigger once while true, okay, add an action to create a scene variable. So value of a scene variable, here we go. And the variable name would name our variable score. There you go. And choose an operator. Now we need to add one to it. So whenever the player is in collision with a coin, you add one to the variable. And once that is done, we also need the engine to delete the coin. So delete um, the object and the object is the coin. Okay. Okay. So with this done, we can preview this. And I'll open up my preview. Here we go. So once our player is in collision, it deletes it. And there we go. Now let's add an action to display the value of the scene variable in this text right here. So to do that, back into your events, add a new event, add an action. We don't need a condition for this. So add an action, text, and modify the text, sign, set to. Now we get the variable, variable string. It's a scene variable, so we're using the variable string. If this was a global variable, we'd use the global variable string. So we'll come to that later in the video. So for this variable string, we type in score here. And there we go. Okay, so this would change the text of, of txt and set it to our variable string score. So let's preview this. I might open up the project and here we go. So once we're in collision, as you can see, it's now displaying um, what we have in our scene variable score. Okay, so now to create a working high score, we need to check if the value of the scene variable is greater than a global variable which would create, would name our global variable h score. So if the value of our score variable is greater than what we have in our high score variable, high score global variable, we need to save this data in a storage. So to do that, let's add a new event and add a condition. Here we go. So scene variable. Now we need to check this. So value of a scene variable, the name of our variable is score. So the variable score, once it is greater than the value to compare, would use a global variable. So variable and the global 
variable here we go we'll name our global variable h score there we go sorry close the brackets and here we have it okay so once this is true add an action and let's get a storage here here we go so storage um okay so sorry about that it's right okay so write a value we need to write a value for this so our storage name would be high school so i'll type that in high school and the group would be we we'll, we'll just give our group it's a game so we'll save it all in a group um called game and the expression is the value we have in the score variable so just get the variable so the variable sorry the variable score there we go so that's the expression in there okay so this event here has mo basically done most of the work because it only saves to the storage once it's greater than the high score now we need to add an event to read from the storage so first thing let's add a new event and let's add a condition now we need to check if the storage exists so storage so existence of a group here we go and the storage name once again put that in double quotes would be high score and the group is game okay so once this um storage exists high score exists let's add an action to read it so read a value from the storage storage name once again is um high school and the group is game the scene variable this is a scene variable where you want to save the data which you have in this storage you can set it is to whatever you want for this i'll set it to final so final there we go okay so now we can read what we have in this um, variable right here and display it as the text but here's the problem right now we can only display this text in this scene because this stores the value in a scene variable and scene variables only work in the scene so we need this value to be a global variable so we need to create a global variable and set the value to this scene variable that way we can make use of this in other scenes so add an action and let's go with global variable okay so global variable and value of a global variable the variable name would be h score so there we go h um score okay and the sign would set to to the variable to the variable which is final we created okay so the variable that's a scene variable and this would basically just get the value of the scene variable set it to a global variable and we can make use of this in our high score event so let's go to our high score events now in here we just need to add in one action which is to modify this text right here to modify the text and display what we have in our global variable h score so add an action and select this text and modify the text sign set to to the value of global variable there we go global variable string and the name of the variable is h score so there we go now you can choose to add a text before this just like i did in um the preview earlier where i added high score then displayed the text and you can do that by adding um a text in double quotes so here we go i can add this high score and then add a plus sign before the sorry about that before the global variable so we have this high score plus the global variable and make sure you place your text in double quotes and place whatever you want in the double quotes as well so i can do this and there we go so i'll just add a column there okay so there we have it now let's preview this from the new scene and preview just open up the preview in here and now if i'm in collision with the first it displays the text here and if we're in collision with the door oh sorry we missed one more event and that's the um event to switch to the high score scene so let's close this back into our new event add a new event add a condition so in here once the player is in collision with um the exit okay and we need it to change to the scene change the scene to the scene high score okay that's fixed now preview and let's get one and if we're in collision with this it displays our high score as one and let's preview again now we're in collision with more than one um it displays our high score as two here we go 
Okay, so there you go. That's how to create a high score in Jitvalp 5. If you want to download the templates, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can download the templates. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.